Hello and welcome. We have scary circuits today. This is going to be a full body workout and the only thing you're gonna need are your dumbbells. I am Kaylee, if this is your first time here, yay. And if we worked out on Saturday before, welcome back. This is a live workout and these are some of my favorites. So for this workout today, we're gonna get right into it, into our warm up, but I'll just go over it quickly. We have two different circuits that we are gonna repeat two times each, there's eight exercises in each circuit. So with the circuit training, we're gonna be working a little bit endurance, a little bit of a muscular build here, but we are gonna give it all we've got. Again, it's gonna be just a little bit under 30 minutes because I gotta get my costume on. <laughs> and we are not gonna to get to see Jason yet. He is already dressed and ready to go in his costume. So if you wanna see him, you have to make sure you stick around for the live cycle <laughs> after this. But anywho, we have eight work or eight exercises in each circuit. Each exercise we work for 30 seconds. So after that, we'll just get a really quick, just about 15 seconds to get into that next exercise and begin. And then after those eight exercises though, we will get a beautiful 60 seconds to recover. So I am actually just gonna use my 5kgs today because I'm a little bit scared of all the cobwebs and uh, I don't really wanna be fumbling around. So I'm just using um, just a moderately light set of weights today, but again, challenge yourself, do whatever you can here for your weights and let's get into our warm up. So let's just start taking our arms back, big circles back. Oh yeah, and start your watch. I'll do that here in just a moment as well. We'll do a few more circles back and then we're gonna do, take our arms across, but getting our posture right right now, keeping your head up, chest up, last one, and let's just take it and reach and tap at the same time here. Again, warming up the core with this move, so stretching across. Good. We'll do one more here, last one. Now we're gonna take it toes out at an angle. We're gonna do a sumo squat down, slow, and up. We're gonna do five here, and then we are gonna start stretching it out a little bit. Here's three, two more, two, and last one. Good, now we're just gonna hold it down, hold it here, twist, dropping one shoulder down, opening up the inner thighs. We've got the back, the core here, other side. Good, and switching. One more on each side from here, good. And last one. Good, bring it up from here. We're gonna do a side lunge, so we're gonna take it out wide. Sitting back here. Good, other side. Keep your chest up in this move. Think about sitting back. Again, warming up the lower body. Good, one more each side from here. There's one and two. Perfect, now we're just gonna reach heels to our bum. So we're just bringing it up here, marching it out. You can move a little bit quicker here to get that heart rate up. And then we're gonna do a knee pull to our chest, alternating sides, and then we will get ready for circuit one. Good, here's three, two, and one. Now knee pulls, we're gonna be working our balance a little bit here, but just pull it in and then switch. Good, keeping your core engaged for this. And last one here. All right, first exercise. Now with these, um, some of the exercises you can do with or without dumbbells, this is gonna be one of those that you can choose to do without dumbbells. I will use my dumbbells, I'm just gonna show you what we're doing. Let me step back, because we're gonna do a squat into a front lunge. Squat front lunge staying on the same side, then the second exercise is gonna be squat into that opposite side. So we're gonna work for 30 seconds. Grab your dumbbells. Oh yeah, let's get ready, here we go. 30 seconds, down and forward. And down and forward. Keep your chest up, core engaged. Going at your own pace. Going through that full range of motion. Good. We will get a chance two times for each exercise. So if you go through this and you feel like your weights weren't quite heavy enough, you will have a chance. Last one. Good. 15 seconds. Shake it out. Breathing. 
and then we'll go just switch it over to the other side. The two new workouts that we've got coming this week, we are, oh my, it's all about the upper body push and pull, but let's begin. Here we go. Squat and front lunge. Good. Squat. Working our balance a little bit too with this move. 10 seconds. Front lunge. Hammer curl to a narrow grip press is going to be next. I'm going to finish out with the squat because that's what I did last time. Good. 15 seconds. This is going to be the next move. So hammer curl. Palms are going to be facing you. We're going to bring it up, working the bicep. Then we're going to press it up overhead, still with that narrow grip. Palms together working the shoulders then back down full range of motion just like this let's begin 30 seconds and press good Jason can you start the timer thank you all right we got a few extra reps in us good as gold down. think about the bicep muscle and then we switch it to the shoulder here double whammy and up. Good. This next exercise, we're going to be working a little bit into the cardio. We're going to do a low side to side shuffle. So I'll show you what we got next, but let's get this out of the way. Last press. Perfect. So set your weights down and out of the way. We're going to keep it low. I'm going to start on this side. We're going to go four, four. So we're going to keep it low and back. So just keep it low. Again, you can just take little steps if you don't want to add the hops in, whatever you'd like to do. But we've got 30 seconds, so let's begin. Good. Almost there, halfway. Mixing it up to so get the heart rate up here. Last one, perfect. All right, we're gonna bring it onto the ground now and we're gonna work the abs. So bring it on down. For this exercise, you can use a dumbbell if you'd like. We're gonna be on our back, reaching for the toes. So if you want that added challenge, grab one, two dumbbells. Oh, but it's time to begin. Here we go. Reaching, reaching, good. Get those shoulder blades up. Breathe out as you lift up. Halfway. Ooh, you're doing awesome. Keep going. Good. Five seconds. One more. Good. Set your weight down. Next exercise. This is a challenging exercise, so if you need to make a modification, you will be on your knees. So we'll get into that plank position. We will have our dumbbells with us. Hands on the dumbbells. We're gonna do a renegade row. So modification will look like this. Rowing right here. If not, you're in that plank and we begin. 30 seconds. Good. Don't let your shoulder open up here as you row. Keep it down. Core engaged. Good. And breathe. Keep your hips also square with the floor here. One more each side. Good. Awesome. All right. Setting those aside, we have got push ups next. So, you know what to expect for circuit one when we repeat it because we have got push ups and plank shoulder taps next. Again, push ups. You can do them on your knees. If it bothers your knees, though, head to the wall and you can do those push ups on the wall or on your toes. Here we go. 30 seconds. Don't forget, squeeze the core, squeeze the glutes and press that floor away. Good. 
10 seconds. I really need to face the TV when I do these. Good. Time is up. All right, next exercise is a plank shoulder tap. So we are really working the shoulders right now in the core with these few exercises. Plank shoulder taps, just like this. In plank position or on your knees. But let's begin, bring it up and tap. Again, squeezing the legs, squeezing the glutes and engaging your core, belly button to spine. Quick taps, bringing the heart rate up. Ten seconds. Almost there. Five, four, three, two. Whew. Yes. Mark us for one minute, Jason. We deserve that. That is for sure. Dry off. Grab a drink if you need to. We're gonna bring it back up, and we are going to repeat. So the legs have gotten a nice little break since we've been in the plank and the push-ups. So we're gonna go back, working that lower body with the squat to forward lunge. Think about the weight you wanna use for that now. If you wanna add, I am just enjoying this um, right down here on the floor. Whew. But we will bring it up now. We've got about 30 seconds left. Whew. And breathing. I am, um, I'm excited for our ride today. I'm just excited for everyone to see Jason's costume. So, he is looking at me like he is not happy. He was like, pick whatever you want, I'll be whatever. Okay, sure I did. And now here we are. All right, we gotta go into our squat and forward lunge. So grab your dumbbells or don't, whatever you're doing here. But let's get that squat to forward lunge. Here we go. Squat, same leg here. Good. And step it forward. Perfect. Remember your form, keep your chest up. And you don't have to step too far forward with your forward lunge. Trying to make just about a 90 degree angle right here. And last one. I keep ending with the squat, but that is okay. All right, 15 seconds, we go to the other side. Shaking it out. Heart rate is, I never started my watch. Dang it. Oh well. I knew I'd forget. If I don't do it right then, I always forget until then it's too late. Squat to lunge, other side. Good. And down and up. Perfect. That hammer curl to press is gonna be next. 10 seconds. Again, going at your own pace, but keeping an eye on form and full range here. Good. Gotta end in the squat. All right. 15 seconds, hammer curl to press. Breathing. 10 seconds. Is anyone else dressed up out there? Or is it just gonna be us for the ride dressed up? I would like to know. We, Jason's shaking his head. All right, 30 seconds. Hammer curl to narrow grip press. I'm taking a staggered stance here, but you can take a wider stance. Just keep a slight bend in your knee. It's really dependent on preference here for what is more comfortable for you and what gives you a little bit more stability. Good. And press. Last one. Awesome. 15 seconds. And then we're going to go in to that bit of a cardio move, the low shuffle. So make sure your weights are out of the way. Starting from one side, lower it down because we go in three, two, and one. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. I know, I am worried about the costumes and the sweat, I'm not gonna lie. But we have got to see pictures of that, so if anyone wants to share your Halloween costume, you can probably do it on Facebook and on Instagram. 
Oh my gosh, yes. A lame costume, nothing is lame. It's never lame. You dressed up and that's what counts. I'm, I'm really lame usually. Last one, because I usually don't dress up. So I think I said the last time, the last time I actually dressed up was when Eli was maybe two or three years old. We're gonna take it down to the ground. We're gonna do that toe touch. So bring it on down. Grab your dumbbell if you wanna use that. Work in the abs now, 30 seconds. <laughs> Sorry, we're going. I wanted to be able to see the time without making a fool of myself and breaking form. I know this lady, she'll yell at you if you mess up form. No, I'm just kidding. Do I yell? I don't yell. I don't usually yell. That is also a joke, because I usually do. In all of excitement though. One more. Good, all right. We are going into renegade row. Then we've got push-ups and shoulder taps. So grab your dumbbells. And if you find that the renegade row is just too challenging, just stand and do a normal bent over row. That is totally fine. All right, time is ready. Okay, here we go. But again, don't let your shoulder open up here. Make sure your hips, shoulders are all staying flat down. Nothing's opening up. Square to the ground here. Good. Still thinking, squeezing shoulder blade around spine. You can definitely feel your core muscles engage with this one. Good, squeeze. The last one. Perfect. Going for push-ups next. <sighs> I'm gonna dry off already. Okay. A few seconds. What are we at? Six seconds. Again, you can do these knees, toes on the wall. This is your time, but let's make it count. Here we go. 30 seconds. Good. Whew, halfway. Don't forget, squeeze the core, squeeze the glute muscles. Okay, one more. You've got it. Oh yes, we were shaking for that one. Plank shoulder taps are gonna be next in just about 10 seconds. You know why I love push-ups? I feel like push-ups are one of those exercises that you can really gauge your progress in a way. Because if I've not been working out for a while, my push-ups are the first to go, but then they're usually the first for me to get back. Plank shoulder taps, here we go. Maybe you've noticed that too. Good. Keep going. Halfway. Quick arms, pick it up if you can, because we're almost there. Four, three, two, and one. Yes, a minute again to recover. We'll bring it up here in a second. We'll just hang out. Now's the perfect time to chat if you want to share what you're wearing, or if you notice a difference in your push-ups. You can share that as well. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, no, I don't think that would work for the ride for sure. But I love those blow up costumes. Jason was riding an ostrich one year with that. That was, this, uh, yeah, that was in the, another year that I didn't dress up. All right, let's bring it up because we're getting ready for bicep curls. Up we go. Lovely break on the floor. Lovely tea time. Bicep curls, just regular bicep curls. All the way down, all the way up. Think about your bicep muscle and squeeze when you get to the top. Really get that last little bit of squeeze in. 10 seconds. Okay. We're ready. Here we go. 30 seconds. And squeeze. Good. Slight bend in your knee. Core is engaged, chest is up. Shoulders are down away from your ears. You don't want your bicep curls to be like this. Sometimes I've seen people really trying to work it up and they get almost a shrug going on. Then you're not really working your biceps anymore. So, 
If it's too heavy, lower the weight. If you're not feeling it, grab something a little bit heavier. Last one. Next exercise is just gonna be plain and simple overhead tricep extension. So you can use one or both weights. We're just gonna go down and up. So that's working this muscle right here, the back of your arm. Think about keeping your elbows close to your temples and lowering it down as low as you can and then back up. Here we go. Good. Again, staggered stance or wide stance, whatever you feel most comfortable with, with this exercise. Make sure you're extending all the way up. That's where you will get every last little bit out of this exercise to work that tricep muscle. Almost there. One more rep, down and press it up all the way. Perfect. Carefully lower them down. Sumo squat, my favorite. I feel like I cannot do a workout without a sumo squat. It would be like, I would miss it too much. Hopefully you love sumo squats as much as me. I think they're much better than regular squats. But I digress, we need to begin. Sumo squat, here it is. 30 seconds. Squeeze right here. The inner thighs get a little bit of work as well with the sumo squat. Down and squeeze and up, good. 10 seconds. Next exercise will be a little bit more into the heart lifting, the cardio, heart raising. I mean, I don't know, last one. I'll show you what the exercise is and then. Again, set your weights off to the side. So modification, you're just gonna do a march here, getting these up, high knees. If you wanna add a little bit more of plyo, high impact, it's gonna be right here. Up, up, up. Oh, we gotta go, let's go. The timer is starting. So again, you can just march it out, getting your knees up high, or you can add this hop in. Good. Come on, get them up. 15 seconds. 10. Whew. You can feel the heart rate, right? It's coming up. Three, two, one. We bring it down to the ground for a bicycle crunch. Oh yeah, this way. All right, bicycle crunch. Modification, you can just bring it up side to side or bicycle crunch right here. 30 seconds. Twist, get that twist in so you can work your obliques. We've got lower and upper abs working as well. I need a little extra padding here under the, under the mat. Whew. Good. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Whew. Good, you can stretch it out. What do we have next? Glute bridge, awesome. All right, going into glute bridge, use weights or not. This is one of those optional exercises. But let's begin in three, two, and lift. Weight is in the heels, knees in line with your toes. You can really get that squeeze with this move. So that's the same squeeze. When you do your squat or sumo squat, that is what I want you to think about. Good, down and up. Hold it there for a second to really activate the glute muscles. Two and one, perfect. 15 seconds and we bring it back up. Squat and press. Sorry, see this is why it's better if I'm looking that way because the board is over there. There's no way I could remember what we were doing. I mean, I could just wing it, but don't know about that. Squat and press. Let's begin. Squat and press. Squat right into that shoulder press. Good, down and press. Right up overhead, halfway. The next exercise, I had it planned as a wall set. And then I was like, wait a second. We don't really have a wall right now that is not covered in cobwebs. Last one. So instead, 
We are going to keep a low, narrow squat. So you're going to pulse four, three, two, one. Hold it low. Step it out. Four, three, two, one. Back in. So join me now. Here we go. Step it out. Four, three, two, one. Back narrow. Keep it low. Ooh. And out. Oh, yeah. What do you like better, the wall, the wall sit, or the pulse? Keeping that chest up, core engaged though. Here's three, two, one. Out, four, three, two, one. Last one, four, three, two, one. Now remember which side you just did in and out on because when we go through that the second time, this last round through, we're gonna step out to this side. So Jason, remind me or I'm gonna forget. All right, we, that's 60 seconds. I guess just do that three more times. Because we have made it through the eight exercises and now we get to repeat, which means we're gonna go back in to those bicep curls. Again, think about that squeeze. Do you need to go heavier? If you do, grab it. Don't be shy, it's only 30 seconds and you can always set the weight down and adjust it if you need to. Whew. All right, let's grab our dumbbells. Getting ready, 20 seconds. How are we doing on time? Oh, we're perfect. We're good. I'm moving quickly. <laughs> I stress Jason out when I'm like, ah, over 5.30. So, well it's 5.30 here, so it'd be 9.30 in most other places maybe. Which we also need to talk about the time change. But let's do our bicep curls and we'll talk about it. 30 seconds here. But for the strength workout and the cycling workout, we do not change time. So I know that daylight saving time is gonna be up, not this upcoming weekend, but I think the following weekend, I'll have Jason confirm, but we, so the time will be one hour earlier if you are in that time change zone. So the strength will be at 8 a.m. and the cycle will be at 9 a.m. Last one, good. Overhead tricep extension is next. We will make posts all about that though and everything too on all, all the places. The YouTube, the Facebook, the Instagram. All the, we you know where the cool kids hang out. All that stuff, all that jazz. Let's begin. Overhead tricep extension. And up, good. And press halfway. Good. You can really feel the back of the arm now. It is awake. Let's do two more reps. Here's one and all the way up. Last one. Okay. Sumo squat. My favorite. Getting ready to go out wide. Well, I'm gonna be moving right along, so that's why I'm like checking the time. We gotta go right when it's time to go. 30 seconds, here it is. And up. Squeeze. Remember that squeeze on the ground for the glute bridge. We're doing it here, we're doing it now. We're doing it in the sumo squat. Good. Weight stays in the heels, not rocking forward or side to side. Good. Whew. About five seconds, and then we're gonna go back into high knees. Last one, perfect. Weight off to the side and out of the way. All right. So again, you can march it up here. If you think about that, to really get even a little bit more out of that workout, tuck your hips, engage your core, and march it up here, pulling. But if not, we're gonna do that hop, and it's time. The time has come, here we go. Good. Halfway. We'll bring it down to the ground next for the bicycle crunch. 10 seconds. You are rocking it out. Oh yeah, we have got a real treat for cycling. I am still like, okay. Bring it on down. Let's enjoy ourselves down here while we wait for bicycle crunch. Eight seconds. 
Again, you can just do a knee pull. You can just do the crunch up and down, whichever is best for you. We're beginning though. Good. And get that twist in to really feel your oblique muscles. The oblique muscles are the ones that run down the side right here. Well, not down here, <laughs> right here. Almost there. Last one. Ooh, glute bridge, grab your dumbbells. Eight seconds, so getting ready. Weight is in the heels, and then as we lift, it's gonna be in the shoulder blades. So here we go, squeeze. Hold it up for a second, lower down quickly, and then right back up. And squeeze, good. Two exercises remain after this, and you are the bomb.com, because we have almost made it. And squeeze, good. Seven, five, four, three, two, and one. 15 seconds, bring it on up. We're gonna go back into that squat and press. All right. Squat and press, and then, what is it? Oh yeah, that narrow stance squat. <laughs> Pulse. Here we go, here we go. And press. Down and up, good. Did you have a candle lit and just blow it out? Okay. You know when you saw that smell, I smelled something burnt and I was like, oh my gosh, is the house on fire? Or did we have a candle in here? Oh my goodness. Down and up, almost there. Come on, extend all the way. Last one, down and press. Perfect. No weights for this. Unless you're some sort of wild person. Then you can lose weights. I am not feeling very wild today. We are going. We're gonna change sides. So whichever side you were stepping out on for the last one, we're gonna do it on the other side. Narrow squat. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Step it out. And back up. Weight stays in the heels. Here's four, three, two, one. In. Out here. Come on, keep it low. Get it a little bit lower. Oh yeah, come on. We're going a little bit lower. Four, three, two, one. One more narrow, one more wide. One, out, four, three, two, one. Boom, yes, you did it. I am cha-chaing here because I'm so glad we made it. It is time for a costume change and the cycling workout. So if you are done with your workouts today, way to go, you rocked it out. Grab a stretch, I don't know if it's over here. Grab a stretch, or if you are coming for the cycling workout, I will see you very soon for that. Grab a, grab a bite to eat or some water. See you soon, I love ya.